Hello everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Zena. I am a certified esthetician and nail technician in Saskatchewan, Canada. Today I have a magic gel haul for you all. So Can West Aesthetics just had a really big Black Friday sale and their magic gels were on sale for a really great price. So I decided why not purchase some to test out See how I like them. I'm always in the market for some more gel products that I can do some hand painted art with. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that Magic Gel is able to do that for me. I've heard really, really great things about the products. So I have six Magic Gel colors to show you. So let's waste no time. Let's flip the camera around and swatch them and I will give you my first impressions. I have not opened them. I have not looked at the colors. You are getting my 100% first impressions of Magic Gel. So let's flip it around and let's get started. Okay, so these are the six Magic Gel colors that I picked up. We have number five, Neon Fuchsia, number 47, Tan, number 50, Mocha Cream, number 70, Pastel Lavender, number 74, Sweet Pastel Papaya, and number 96, Amethyst Orchid. By the way, I just picked out six random colors. There is no rhyme or reason. There are just six that I liked that I thought my clients would like as well. So they are not a collection. They're not anything. They're just six random colors and we'll see what we think of them. Another cool thing that Magic Gel does is inside their boxes, every one of them comes with these four little cards. So one of them is how you can win some free gels, which is really cool, kind of an incentive to buy their products. Another one is a support card, so if you ever have any questions or anything, you can contact them and they will help you out. Another one is you can get certified with Magic Gel, which just kind of reinforces that you know how to work with their products. It's not an actual gel tech certification, it's just a more product certification. And then lastly is a code for some nail art videos that they have online. So just on the back right here is the code. So every single one of their gels comes with a unique code that gives you access to different videos. So that is a really kind of unique feature with the magic gels. So let's get to swatching now. Okay, so up first we have number five, Neon Fuchsia. And don't quote me on this, but I believe this little symbol right here means that they are one coat coverage. But I could be wrong, but I believe that's what I've heard in the past. So let's see what Neon Fuchsia looks like. Okay, these do not come off very easily. Ooh, okay. Okay, it looks to be appearing fairly true to color in my camera, which is awesome. It is this gorgeous kind of medium pink. It looks super, super creamy and pigmented. Okay, I am really enjoying this color so far. Okay, so this is Neon Fuchsia and it is coming off completely true to color, true to life in my camera. So super, super rich, medium pink color. All right, let's give it a swatch. I've already just pre-labeled my swatch sticks and I am using the Ugly Duckling gel brush to do my swatching today. Okay, it's kind of a interesting texture. It, it's almost like it's thick, but not thick at the same time, if that makes sense. Like it's definitely not a runny consistency. Oh wow. Okay, yep, this will be an awesome color for art. They appear that they are self-leveling. This is going on so, so, so nicely. And one coat coverage for sure. Wow, that was easy. Okay, so this is finished curing now, and there is a little bit of a dispersion layer left, so you'll just want to make sure you wipe that off. But there is number five, Neon Fuchsia. Absolutely stunning color. Okay, up next we have number 47, Tan. And this one does not have the little symbol that the other one did, so I'm going to assume this one may need two coats, but we'll see. 
these lids are definitely on very securely. This is a little bit darker than what I was expecting it to be. It's kind of more of a more chocolatey than I was expecting it to be. Okay, so this is number 47 tan. So yeah, it's kind of more of a very kind of light milk chocolate brown color, if that makes sense. A very, very neutral, very pretty neutral color. And it's showing up fairly true to life in my camera. So let's swatch it. I'm just going in with a little bit to start and seeing how that works. Okay, yeah, this one is definitely, don't know if you can see it, definitely a little bit more transparent. Still fairly nice coverage, and it's a little bit, almost a little bit runnier than the last one as well, if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't seem to be quite as pigmented and as stiff. Not that the other one was stiff at all, it still applied very nicely, but... So that is number 47 tan. Alright, so let's go in with a second coat of this color. These apply so, so nicely though. They definitely self-level and are very pigmented. Even though this one, in my opinion, needs two coats, it's still extremely pigmented. Like two very thin coats. Okay, and this is number 47 tan. So very, kind of a more dark neutral is how I would describe it. Very, very pretty. Okay, up next we have number 50, Mocha Cream, which again has this little symbol on it. So I will actually find out what this symbol actually means for real, and I will insert a description box or something along the bottom here for you. Okay, so here is Mocha Cream. So it's a nice kind of dark, almost like a dark dusky purple color almost. Definitely has purple undertones in it. And it's a dark, I'd say a medium dark tone. Let's swatch it. These apply so nicely. I am very, very impressed. Yeah, this one's definitely another one coat coverage. Look at that color. All right, so this is what number 50 looks like, mocha cream. Very, very nice, rich, dusty purple. It'll be very popular for this winter. All right, moving on, we have number 70, pastel lavender. And again, it has that symbol on it. I'm very excited to see this one. Pastel colors are very hard to get one coat coverage on them. So I am very, very excited to see how this one is for coverage. Okay. So yeah, just as the name describes, it is a light pastel purple color. Pastel lavender, pastel purple, whatever, same thing. Super, super pretty color. Alright, so you can see right here that there's a little bit a, of a blue color along the edge right here. So that's just a sure sign that this color needs a little bit of a stir, so I'm just going to give it a quick stir and then we will swatch it. Alright, so it's all stirred up now, so let's give it a swatch. These colors are so, so, so creamy. Oh my goodness. One coat coverage pastels, everybody. This is amazing. Pastels are so hard to get, not streaky, and bam, no streaks whatsoever. Awesome, awesome coverage. All right, so there is number 70, Pastel Lavender, and that is one thin coat. Amazing, amazing coverage. I will be purchasing the rest of the Pastel collection because that is incredible. Speaking of the pastels, I also picked up number 74, Pastel Sweet Papaya. Ooh. Okay, that is showing up true to camera. And again, this one needs a stir because you can see that color variation in the center there. So I will give it a stir and be right back. So this is number 74, 
pastel sweet papaya and it is kind of a medium toned pastel orange if that makes sense it's showing up fairly true to life in my camera if anything it's a touch 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 darker in person so I have high hopes that this one is the same as the pastel lavender in one coat, one coat, no streaking coverage. And it looks like it is. This is amazing. As a nail tech, your worst enemy is streaking and shadowing and stuff especially in lighter colors, but this is not happening whatsoever. So that is one thin coat. Okay, so this is number 74 Pastel Sweet Papaya. One coat, super amazing coverage. These pastels have blown me out of the water. They are amazing. Okay, so this is the last one I picked purchased and it is number 96 amethyst orchid Ooh. okay that is showing up true to life in my camera it is a gorgeous gorgeous kind of medium to darker purple color looks super super creamy as well okay so this is amethyst orchid ignore the mess I made over here taking the lid off but super super pretty medium dark flat purple Whoop. okay I probably got way too much on my brush here but this coverage on these gels is incredible I have never ever played with a gel with this much of a one coat coverage like that is incredible Ignore right here, there's a little bit of smudging on my swatch stick. Okay, and this is number 96, Amethyst Orchid. Super pretty purple color, one coat coverage, yet again. Okay, so up next I'm going to just try doing a little bit of art with these to see how well they work for art and if they're going to expand or stay in one place. So I'm just going in with my Crystal Nails Zero Short Brush, which is a very fine detail brush. And we're just going to try doing some swirls or something just to see how these work for art. Alright, that worked really, really well. They sit exactly where you're leaving them, like these are not going anywhere. Alright, well these win my vote for art gels. That is amazing. Like I have not cured that and those are not expanding whatsoever. Okay, so this is the final six colors that I purchased. I will tell you right now, I will for sure be purchasing more of these magic gel colors. I am blown away by them. They are absolutely incredible coverage. Gorgeous, gorgeous applications application super easy super pigmented goes on like butter super super nice colors and just to update you on my art one it still has not moved whatsoever and it's been probably about three minutes wow okay so that is the end of this magic gel review first impressions video I am in love. If you cannot tell by my smile, I am so, so happy that I decided to test out this brand, see what I think, and I highly, 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 highly recommend it to all of you. This was an amazing product, super, super easy to work with. I had zero troubles. 
No streaking, no kind of shadowing other than in the tan one. However, it did not have that little symbol on the jar, so I think that is why. But with two coats, that one was perfectly covered as well. They are amazing for art, so I'm so excited to play with them and get more to my collection. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video and would like to see some more first impression review videos, please just leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see next. And stay tuned, I release videos every Monday. Thank you very much. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.